Hey, yeah, this is Rick uh, working on the 2008 Hyundai Sonata, um, changing out the variable um, uh, valve uh, timing solenoid. Um, got from Rock Auto, so uh, simple to do. So I'll show you that. All right, so here's the new one. It just says. Uh, works right there yep it's all oiled up so and yeah so that's what it is from rock auto variable valve timing solenoid actuator okay so yeah it's easy to get to it's right here you can see it here's the plug-in and what I did is I disconnected uh, the sensor below it easy Disconnect and then there's um, yeah the Torx head screw I already took out okay so I'll show you what I used for that though so this is what I used got like a little bit and I just taped it to one of these deals and then what I did is um, it was pretty tight so I got a adjustable wrench where you get pliers and then to, to turn it loosen it counterclockwise so I'll show you yeah all right so I'll show you getting the old one out it's pretty simple so once you get the once you get the uh, the nut out there the torque set I mean let's see where is it on the bottom the torque heads on the bottom see right there yeah it's Above this sensor, so it's a little it's a little tight to get in with the thing. But once you get that out, the little uh, Torx, what you want to do is get a screwdriver. Let's see. But what you want to do is you want to get a screwdriver behind it. Somewhere here. Yeah, you see, see how the screwdriver. You want to get behind it. And you want to pry it out okay you gotta be careful so just kind of like tap it back a little bit to get that free and then you just want to wiggle it a little snug okay. yeah it takes a little doing here all right so maybe I'll just get the screwdriver again to help out. Okay, well, I'm gonna put the camera down while I do that. Okay, so basically two hands probably easier kind of lift up and around on there and maybe I'll get the there we go easier to get the screwdriver behind it and just pry it back right yeah it's definitely snug right here there we go yeah, that's it and you gotta you got the intake in the way here so okay yep. So you just gotta watch the there we go. Yeah, it just takes some doing. If I wasn't filming it would have came right out, so you can see the way it works. Okay, so there it is there. Okay. Alright, let's see. 
It's the old one. This is the new one. Okay. So this, uh, uh, the variable timing, um, I'll give you some information about that. All right, so this is a description, um, uh, the continuous variable valve timing. Okay, so this is what, give you a little bit, um, system advances or retards the uh, valve timing. Uh, of the intake and exhaust valve accordance with the ECM control signal which is calculated by the engine speed and load so it gives you a little bit hopefully you can read that pause that and read that but that's what yeah or you can just, you can look it up I just googled gives you a little bit of information about it Okay, so what I did is I just Googled uh, 2008 Hyundai Sonata 2.4 variable timing sensor description. And I'll give you the description about it. Yeah, so, okay. Um, so, yeah, the new one looks a little smaller. It's not as thick. And then the end, too, is... It just doesn't look as long, but well, let's see what we get. Uh, let's see. Left hand. Yeah, you can see right there. So hopefully this is gonna do it. it says it, I double checked. It says it's for the year. And the type of car and the engine and all that so you gotta watch out see the the bottom there you gotta watch out that sensor with the so you gotta kind of swivel that out of the way and then uh, I gotta find out where to get the holes right there okay yeah so what I'll do is I just got to put the 10 millimeter in there tighten that up Let's see and then just plug them in this one's the bottom sensor and this is the variable timing one once that's snugged up and then uh, go ahead and uh, start up and see how it does there okay Torque fit in there and the wires and yeah, it's real simple to do. What I got to do now, of course, is uh, I got to clear the the check engine light. So I'm gonna have to do that. So I might just uh, hit auto zone. They checked it, so I might have them just clear it. So all right. Hey, thanks for watching, subscribing. Bye now.